A reclusive Australian multimillionaire has lost $1 million in an email scam, a London court has heard, but the British man who allegedly facilitated the theft says he's a victim too. Twyam Agricultural Group founder John Carl Betzer, who is on the Forbes list of the 50 richest Australians, lost the money when fraudsters tricked the administrator of his personal finances into transferring it to them, court papers say. Fraudsters emailed Christine Campbell, pretending to be the 87-year-old Mr. Carl Betzer and asking her to pay $1 million to an account held by a British man, David Aldridge, which she did. The email came from an email address that was one character different from Mr. Carl Betzer's personal email address but that had been manipulated so that it appeared on screen as his exact address. The email was written by an unknown third party, Mr. Carl Betzer's court papers say. On the witness stand, Ms. Campbell said it was reasonably normal to get a request to transfer $1 million from Mr. Carl Betzer's account. She said that, with hindsight, it was clear that the email asking for the funds to be transferred was in perfect English but she had picked this up as a problem at the time because it looked like Mr. Carl Betzer was emailing in a rush. Mr. Carl Betzer has sued Mr. Aldridge to recover the funds, but Mr. Aldridge said he was being unwittingly used and was himself the victim of a fraud involving a woman he met online and with whom he believed he shared a loving relationship. Lawyers for Mr. Carl Betzer who has a net worth of $950 million according to data compiled by Forbes this year, said Mr. Aldridge actively facilitated the payment of the sum to his account. He then transferred £61,538, $82,600, to another of his accounts and used some of it to settle his tax bills. He transferred most of the money to accounts in countries including the US, Hong Kong, Britain, the United Arab Emirates, Ghana and Nigeria. Mr. Aldridge said he was sending the money on the request of his girlfriend, Nancy Jones, who told him it was being used to pay death duties on her parents' estate so that he could jointly benefit from her inheritance and the two of them could live together, Mr. Carl Betz's court papers say. They say he has never met Ms. Jones and has provided any proof of her existence. Mr. Aldridge's court papers say he is also a victim of the fraudsters, who have tricked him into letting his account be used to defraud Mr. Carl Betzer. The evidence doers show that he knew he was assisting a fraudster, they say, and he had no idea that a fraud was being committed against Mr. Carl Betzer. Mr. Aldridge was entitled to the belief that he was dealing with an honest person because Ms. Jones was his girlfriend of four years, his court filings say. Ms. Jones has written poetry to Mr. Aldridge and has on many occasions told him she loves him. Mr. Aldridge's lawyer, Nicholas Towers, told a London court that he thought by transferring the money he was taking steps that would allow them to properly be together and effectively live happy ever after. Like Ms. Campbell, Mr. Aldridge followed instructions from someone he had known for many years and whom he trusted, his court papers say.